What's up, guys? Justin with Bite and Fight Angler. Uh, today I want to do the uni to uni knot. Yesterday I did the FG knot, and I said that I would do a video on this, so uh, I wanted to go ahead and do it. Now, the only thing with the uni to uni knot, all you're doing is tying two uni knots and sliding them together and tightening them up to make a knot to tie your braid to your uh, to your leader. So I'm having difficulty figuring out how to move everything with my new phone from my my action camera to the, the phone. So I'm having to do everything uh, straight by the phone. So let me get it all rigged up because I can't have, I don't have my hat. So, so that you can see it, I have this high-vis line. We're gonna use it as the braid. You can still, you can actually use this uh, from one, like a thick mono to, you don't have to do it straight to braid. So, but it's a good one for braid. So, uh, you got your leader line and you got your braid. Now you've got both of your tag, you got both of your tag ends right here. What you wanna do is just swap hands and run them next to each other like that. Give yourself plenty of line to make these knots. So that's about 10 inches, I would say. Now, just kinda of come down to the middle and let this end hang. This is your braid, this is your braid uh, tag end and this is your your leader line now the way you tie the uni knot you just loop it back you just loop back like that and make your and make your loop just like you would uh tying the uni knot to a lure or a hook you make your loop and then you're going to go around the braid or around the uh leader line through that hole you're going to do that five times so you go one two three four and five and now it should look like this where you have your you have your tag in right here in your in, in this hand and you just pull on that tag in don't pull on this this isn't going to tighten that knot down pull on the tag and cinch that knot down just about right there because you don't want to you don't want to tighten it all the way down right here because when these two knots that we make come together they tighten together and kind of lock in so uh, then you're gonna do the exact same thing over here on your leader side. You just kind of hold it right there and make your loop back like you normally would for your for your uni knot. You're gonna make your loop back. There's your loop, and then you're gonna take this tag in, go around your braid, and through that loop five times. So you go one, two three, four, and five. And then you grab that tag in and cinch it down. And then all you're gonna do is grab, now you can let the tag ends go. You don't have to hold these tag ends anymore. You can let them go and you grab the main lines, the main line of your uh, leader and the main line going back to your reel. You grab those and you pull it and you'll see those knots start sliding together. And as they start sliding together, when they meet right there, you keep pulling and that knot forms right there. Now, with this being some uh, 30 pound high vis mono, it's it's this side is actually bigger than if you were using braid so this knot's gonna not is is not gonna be quite this thick 
it will be a little bit thicker than the FG knot, but not a lot. So this knot right here is going to be just as effective as the FG knot if you're struggling tying the FG knot. It may have a little bit more, a little bit less, but I think the strengths are about the same. And then you just clip your tag ends. You can clip them all the way down because that's not going to slip anymore. So you can get as close as you can to the knot and just clip those off. And there you go, there's your, there's your uni to uni knot. This video helped you, give it a thumbs up, like, comments are welcome. If y'all need any, uh, if, if you need me to explain something further, leave a comment and I will. Uh, if this video helped you out, like it, share it, comment on YouTube, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.